Hello everybody, this is me. This will be my last video to you guys for this class. It's been a real fun experience. I have to apologize. The ANCOVA was a lot harder than I let on. Uh, a very important thing what in statistics we do is sometimes we don't use all the variables. So that's what I'm hoping to teach you through this last video. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I did this. I went to analyze general linear model univariate, and I probably did what you guys did. Right, I put job satisfaction in the DVs, the fixed factors were our grouping guys, all of them, and the covariates. I put all possible covariates in there at once, and don't need model contrast plus. Don't save 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 options. We should probably. You always do this for all your ANOVAs, MANCOVAs, for everything, okay? These are your assumptions and your means and stuff. You click OK, and this is the first output. Here's all the means. The variance was violated, homogeneity variance violated. Uh-oh, not a good sign. So here's your main table. So age, you're checking as if it's a covariate, right? It is not. Salary is not a covariate. Perceived leadership is not a covariate. In fact, the only thing that there's a significant difference is, is in the department, okay? So that's that's not a very important study, okay? So with all this data, so what I was hoping you guys would do, but I probably should have given you a big hint on this, is you gotta, you got to play around with the data. By that, I mean I'm going to redo the ANCOVA, and I'm going to just start playing around with the covariates and then within the variables that kind of stuff so so I, I took out everything except for perceived leadership click OK rerun it I'm just checking one covariate at a time because sometimes when you have you know whenever you have more than one variable there's there's a lot of times there's going to be this interaction that is not explainable in the test that you are currently running so this is the uh, this is the ANCOVA simply with the perceived leadership effectiveness, and it's not acting as a covariate with these three IVs. Okay, in fact, the only thing that's that's showing up here is a significant difference is the department. So in this model, the only significant difference between job satisfaction is department. You know, and it's act and it's saying that perceived leadership is not an ANCOVA. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to put in all suspected covariates and then I'm going to take out some of the IVs. Okay, so I'm taking out gender. I'm just going to run department and ethnicity, see what happens. So every time you make a change, you're going to look at the between group effects, right? You're looking for anything that's significant with this change here. So um, again, I'm only seeing department. That's what we got last time. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure something else out here. So age, according to this, is not a covariate. Salary is not a covariate. Salary is not a covariate. And perceived leadership is not a covariate. But that's with department and ethnicity. So I'm going to go ahead and change uh, department with ethnicity. I will take out department no I'll take out uh, yeah I'll take out department put in gender okay so now we're just with ethnicity and gender I put it in there I'm looking for some big changes again the homogeneity variance has been violated but with just with just ethnicity and gender I'm looking at age nope sorry looking at the wrong one not seeing a lot of action here in the significance column. Okay, so age and perceived leadership effectiveness, salary, nothing is affecting the outcome between ethnicity and gender. All right, one last time. I'm going to throw out ethnicity. I'm going to put back in department. I'm going to leave the three suspected covariates in there. 
I'm going to take a look at that, see what else happens. Oh, something did change. Our uh, homogeneity variance is no longer violated. Oh, look at that. And our perceived leadership effectiveness is a covariate. Age is not, salary is not, but there's a significant difference between the departments. So this is the this is the maximum amount of significant proof that there is a, a difference in there between job satisfaction between the departments, right, the staff management and executive level, and the perceived leadership effectiveness is acting as a covariate. So this is the best model to fit, but you had to you had to play around with the variables and the covariates. Okay, that's what unfortunately that's what real statisticians do. We just kind of play around with the data until we get an answer that we can explain. So back to the actual final exam sheet. So we know that ethnicity is not part of this. So I left it out of the study. So from there, I answered all the questions on the sheet here. Let's just go over them. <laughs> so the IVs were gender two levels, department three levels, and ethnicity five levels, but it was not used in this study. Blank, blank, blank. DV was job satisfaction scores. The possible covariates were age, salary, perceived leadership effectiveness because they were all continuous variables. Remember, a covariate cannot be a categorical variable. So using this data, um, I ran a Smirnoff normality test, and there was a lot of violations here. Okay, Salary, not normal. Job satisfaction, not normal. But we just say that the ANOVA and COVA is a robust test, and we just keep pressing on. Okay, so about the covariate. The covariate is perceived leadership. Right, it was collected beforehand, it was measured accurately. So now that we know that the covariate is perceived leadership, we're going to go ahead and run our ANCOVA. And the only one that showed up was the perceived leadership, and its effect size was 18.7%. So in other words, the perceived leadership scores are responsible for about 18, about 19% of the variance in the um, employee satisfaction, in the job satisfaction scores, okay, so... That, that's pretty strong. Right? In other words, the way that an employee thought about their leader's effectiveness was influencing their job satisfaction scores. Right? That, that put it really well. And so there's the proof. Right? We ran the ANCOVA, and there's the between subjects box. Right? There's the proof. So correlation among the covariates, we only had one. Linearity of the DV and the covariate. There's gender, pretty straight to me. Here's department, pretty straight to me. And they're 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 the same number, right? So right there, R squareds are the same. 0 0.88, 0 0.88. So that means we're not violating the assumptions of the regression slopes there. They look pretty dang close to me. Checking the homogeneity of regression slopes is probably the, the the most complicated assumption check there is. But let's go back to SPSS. We're going to go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate. We're going to put our DV in. What is that? Job Satisfaction. Our IVs are Gender and Department, right? We're leaving out Ethnicity. And Perceived Leadership Effectiveness is our own only covariate. We're going to go to model. We're switching this to custom. Remember, we're checking for interaction between the covariate and the IVs. So we need to click gender, control, perceived, click over to the box, redo it with department, control, perceived leadership, over to the box. Remember, if there's interaction, that means it violated the regression slopes. Okay, so remember, we're just looking for interaction on this new box from SPSS, the test between subjects box. Okay, so let's see what we got here. And, uh-oh, we have violated it. The department, when we interacted the department with the with the covariate, we got a significant interaction. Okay, so we violated that assumption. So now we're going to run the ANCOVA the way it was, but make sure you, that you, we, when we 
get into that box, we reset the, the custom back to full factorial. Okay. Back to analyze general linear model univariate. Go back into model, switch it back to full factorial. Okay. Now we run our ANCOVA. So this is our final box here. And let's answer the rest of the questions. So with all of this mess cleaned up, we're going to use this final chunk of information, right? Gender and department are the IVs. Perceived leadership effectiveness is the covariate. Job satisfaction is the DV. So with that in mind, we did not break the assumption of homogeneity variance, right? Or Levine's test is fine. And in writing up the overall results, was there overall significant difference be between the, the group somewhere? And yes, there was an omnibus F, okay? And this is how we write it up. Don't forget how to write this stuff up. This is APA formatting, okay? So, you know, four years from now when you're writing your dissertation, you're going to need to know this stuff. So was there a main effect of genders, right? No big significance. Was there a main effect from departments? Yes, there was, right? So in other words, depending on if, if your staff management or executive, your job satisfaction scores are going to be a lot different. More than likely, the executives have the higher job satisfaction because they're the executives. And then the last one, was there, was there an interaction between gender and department? No, there was not. Okay. And this proves everything. Okay, these are all your F's and everything. So, so is age a covariate? No. This is the box that told us that when we originally ran the three suspected covariates, age is not a covariate. Perceived leadership was a covariate. Yes. Salary, not a covariate. Nope. This is how you write them up, SPSA, um, APA formatting. And then finally, here's the here's the last APA formatting, a two-way ANCOVA, because there were two IVs. We didn't use the third one, so it's just a two-way ANCOVA. was used to analyze job satisfaction scores. Okay, the data collected was gender, salary, age, perceived leadership, ethnicity, department, and job satisfaction scores. And again, remember, you don't have to use all the, the variables. You don't have to use all the information you can collect. So it indicated that perceived leadership was a covariate. There was no main effect from gender, but there was a main effect from department. And there was no center significant interaction between the two. So uh, in other words, gender really doesn't have anything to do with job satisfaction, but which department an employee is, does. And here's all the means and standard deviations. And that's it. So I apologize again for not making this a lot clear to you guys but that's you know that's the art of statistics you got to learn to manipulate the data you know honestly you got to be able to defend everything but sometimes variables don't do what you were expecting to do and that that's statistics in a nutshell right there so that's it have a great summer mgz out